welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy a new Bitscap Scalper Grid Bot. And they have updated the main parameter, which is the grid step. And in one of my previous videos, when I deployed the new Bitscap Scalper bot, back then the grid step was only 0.07%. And I did do a profit update video for the Scalper bot that I deployed, in addition to a few other Scalper bots I deployed shortly afterwards. As you can see, the bot profit over just about a one week period was right around 2.5% on average on these Scalper bots. However, the change percentage was substantially more because again, that has to do with coin selection and the price had appreciated over the time that bot was deployed. So I captured the gain in price on the tokens that I held in addition to this bot profit. And so while the overall profit was really good, the bot profit in my opinion was mediocre at best. Now with this update in the grid step in theory, this should increase the profitability of the scalper bots. And so that is why we're going to deploy a new one today with this new grid step percentage. But before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually works along with that grid step, the grid step is the spacing in between each of these orders and a grid bot is made up of open limit buy and open limit sell orders. The green lines you see on the chart would be your open limit buy orders and the red lines would be your open limit sell orders. And then the grid step is the space in between each one of these orders. And the ideal price action you're looking for is something that is moving sideways and slightly towards the upside. That in my experience produces the best profit out of these grid bots, but I want to see a lot of volatility. I want to see these dips and the rips up. A continual dip and rip pattern produces the most profit because you are essentially buying this dip down at lower prices and you're selling this rip up for a higher price and therefore generating profit. And the more volatility you can get out of this price action, the more you will buy at a low price and sell at a high price. And that is the objective of a grid bot is buy low, sell high. Now, before we get too far into the weeds and get this bot set up and deployed, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it's an all-in-one crypto trading platform and their main feature is actually their crypto trading bots and currently they only really offer grid trading bots. Now, another feature that they do have is their demo trading. If you're not ready to submit your bots to live fire, you can set them up over on the demo trading platform and you can give them a shot without the risk of getting blown up and you can get started for free, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get this bot set up and deployed. So now that you have your Bitscap account set up, your first thing you'll probably want to do is come over here to exchanges and give that a click. You'll want to add an exchange. And in this case, you need to add a Qcoin exchange as the scalper bot is only available with the Qcoin exchange. So all you need to do is click on add new exchange search for qcoin in the list of exchanges obviously it's not available for me as i already have it set up once you select your exchange you just need to add your api key and your secret key that you get from the actual exchange from there hit connect and then you should see your exchange with the letters connected in green that means you're good to go next you'll come up here to the button that says start new bot give that a click and scroll down to where you see scalper bot now you'll give that a click and then the first thing you need to select is exchange but in reality right now the only exchange you can select is qcoin perhaps in the future they will add some other exchanges next you need to select your pair that you actually want to trade and again i'm going to look for a pair that has ideal volatility and what i use to measure volatility if we jump over here to trading view my charting software I have an indicator called Recon ATR Volatility Percentage, and this indicator measures volatility for me in the form of a percentage. The red bars 
indicate low volatility where you can see we're moving sideways and the candles are fairly small on the daily time frame is where I actually use this indicator and then the blue bars typically indicate rising volatility and then I want to really see those lead into the yellow bars once we start getting these yellow bars to me that is good volatility and you can see where these candles start becoming larger candles and then I want to see these yellow bars turn into green bars and that is where we start getting the big moves both up and down that's important to note that volatility measures moves in both directions you can have a volatile move up and you can have a volatile move down and right now we're looking at matic usdt one day candles and so right now matic is showing me the volatility i want to see you see all these green bars and along with that matic is moving somewhat sideways between this 150 level and the 260 level up here it is basically setting higher highs as it's moving sideways along with higher lows so again i want to see sideways movement high volatility and the slight move up and these higher highs and higher lows are indicating that type of movement that i'd want to see so matic is going to be the pair that i go with so we click on pair type in the ticker of matic and select the matic usdt and that will pull up the one hour chart for matic usdt and you can see the grid lines are extremely close to one another the green lines and the red lines are those open limit buy and open limit sell orders and the reason the spacing is so tight is the scalper bot has a grid step of 0.1 percent now that is an improvement over the 0.07% when this bot originally launched and it appears the Bitscat team realized that was not enough of a grid space and so they have increased the grid step to 0.1% so we're going to deploy this bot today and give it a shot and see if the bot actually has improved performance with this new grid step spacing now grid levels those are basically the number of open limit sell and buy orders in this case you can see there are a lot more open limit buy orders and a lot less open limit sell orders but the fact that both trailing up and trailing down are activated for this particular bot the grid levels are not nearly as important as this bot will follow the price up or follow the price action down now with the trailing down activated it is important to note that this bot will take the quote currency in this case usdt from your exchange account even though you only dedicate a certain amount to this particular bot it will actually take more than this initial amount with the trailing down on if the price exceeds the lower price limit of these grids so you have to have quote currency in your exchange account for the trailing down feature to work and the risk with that is as this price continues to fall it will use up all that quote currency if the price continues to fall and that is regardless of how much ammo you give the bot to start and in this case today i will give this bot 500 usdt to start with but again if the price exceeds this lower limit of the grid it will then tap into whatever USDT I have available on the exchange and continue to buy as the price goes down. However, with that being said, if you do not have extra funds available on the exchange, obviously it won't be able to use any more funds and therefore the trailing down feature will stop working because you don't have the funds to execute new buy orders. So that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot to configure. You choose your exchange, the pair you want the bot to trade, the amount of ammo you want to give the bot, and that's it. Everything else is already configured for you. You cannot change the grid step. The grid step is currently set at 0.1%. Now that's the part they updated. Grid levels is only 130. Trailing up is always on. Trailing down is always on. You cannot shut those off. And so now all that is left to do is click preview. And then the preview just goes over bot type scalper exchange qcoin pair matic usdt my profit currency is usdt 
And so when the price action goes up and executes a sell order, that profit is being locked up in USDT. When I deploy this bot, I will have approximately 30 Matic in sell orders, and I will have buy orders of about 446 USDT. And you can see there is a greater number of buy orders than sell orders. And then the number of grids is 130 with a grid spacing of 0.1%. The high price is currently 1.91, but the high price mode is trailing, so that can continue to rise. The low price is currently 1.67. However, again, the low price mode is trailing, so that can go down. And then stop trailing down is set at pretty much around zero. But again, if you don't have the funds on the exchange, the bot can't actually continue trailing down. Now it's time to get this bot deployed. So I click confirm and I get a note that it is necessary for the bot to buy some Matic. Obviously, I need some Matic to hold in order to fill any of the sell orders if this bot just starts out going up. And so they're going to buy that Matic at market price. So I click yes, buy. And you can see the market order was placed for that Matic. And now the grid bot is starting up and you'll start to see the grid lines populate the chart. And again, the green lines are your open limit buy orders and the red lines will be my open limit sell orders. And the bot has been started. So I can click done. And now down here at the bottom of the screen, you can see I have a Matic scalper bot has been deployed. So that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will do an update video on how this bot is performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.